Hi, and welcome to Faith Into Greatness. Today, I wanted to talk about who are you allowing to have influence over your life? Who are you allowing to be your spiritual mother, father, guide in this life? You know, we have to be careful who we allow to lead us in this way. Because sometimes people are leading us from a place of fear. Like sometimes people don't understand maybe something, some, some sort of work that the Lord may be doing in somebody. And they may run in fear and not understand what's going on. And that may cause them to sin, to lead others in fear as well. And so if you're an influencer and you talk about the Lord, please be very careful and be very mindful of your conduct and the things that you're saying and what you're spreading to the world. Okay, please be mindful of it. Bravo to you for being an influencer. But what's scary is the judgment that will come upon you from the Lord for standing in this position, for giving yourself this title, for grandiosing and grandiosing yourself as opposed to the Lord. That's a very scary thing. Okay, be careful who you allow to influence your mind and to train you, so to speak, regarding matters of the Lord. It's important, for example, when you sit down and you read whatever holy book you read, that you pray to God for enlightenment, that you pray to the Lord for wisdom, so that God can come upon you and tell you, you know what, these are my principles. This is what's written on your soul that you must follow. These are the instructions to your life and how you must lead others. Pay attention because somebody's life will tell you the fruits of what's going on and whether or not the Lord lives in them. If they're out here and they're shaming people to tears, if they're turning people away that they don't deem worthy enough of God's love, that they don't deem worthy enough to be a part of a congregation, that they don't deem worthy enough to be chosen by God. Let me tell you right now, those people, they will be corrected, okay? But it is not your job. It is not my job to teach others about the Lord. We are vessels for God. And if you've been chosen to be a vessel for God and you're bragging like you did it yourself, and you're bragging and you are in bragging about God in every breath that you take. Careful. Fight the good fight.